Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. So in today's video I'm going to be testing out the 17 Second Skin Enhancing Foundation. I've had this for a couple of weeks and I've been really wanting to try this out so I thought today would be the perfect opportunity to first of all do a little review on the foundation and then also I'm gonna see how it wears throughout the day as well. I think I've done one previous foundation's first impression so I'll leave it linked down below. So basically what I'm gonna do is prime one half of my face not prime the other side we're going to apply the foundation see how it looks to begin with and then throughout the day i'm going to come back and let you guys know how the foundation is wearing throughout the day i'm going to leave it on for as long as possible it's currently 20 to 10 in the morning so i feel like this is like the perfect time i'm going to leave it on till as late as i possibly can tonight and then we will see how it wears throughout the full day so yeah i'm hoping this one's going to be good i'm very excited i also have the cc cream as well it's a little bit darker but I can always fake tan. If you guys would like to see a video on this one, so the CC cream from the same brand, let me know and I can get that film for you guys as well. 17, you can buy a Boots, and I think it's just Boots that you can buy at. Now, 17 used to be a brand years ago and then unfortunately got rid of it but they've decided to come back they've rebranded they've got new products all the packaging's new all the products look really cool and i really just wanted to try this out i used to love 17 17 is a brand with accessible prices they developed an extensive range of affordable makeup and makeup essentials for everyone formulated with vegan ingredients whether you want to experiment with the latest makeup trends or go fresh face with natural dewy glow 17 cosmetics can help you create endless looks with high pigment payoff in one simple suite best surprise of all your bank account still loves you they've got concealers for two pounds they've got cc cream which is four pounds primers for four pounds cream blush for four pounds eyeshadow palettes for five pounds lip creams for two matte lips for three pounds it's crazy this foundation was five pounds that's a really really good price and hopefully it's going to be really good as well it does have some good reviews it's got four stars out of five on the boots website very excited to see how we get on so first off obviously we've done a little bit about the brand secondly the foundation shades i have all the swatches here so you guys can see they do have quite a few shades if the popularity for this brand continues i'm sure that they will come out with more shades be more inclusive with their darker shades so i went for the shade 01p which i believe is the palest pink tone shade so my skin is cool toned i have pink undertones towards my skin so that's why i went for this one so here it is that is the shade inside and then also the packaging i really like this simple packaging it's just in like a little tube gonna be really great if you're traveling i know that a lot of people that this is more aimed towards are shopping on a budget so you're gonna find a lot of younger people maybe people that don't really aren't really invested in makeup too much and just kind of want something for every day so i feel like this is going to be perfect it's a really nice handy little size it's going to fit in your makeup collection no matter how big or small it is it's going to fit really nicely in your makeup bag as well you get 30 ml of product it's vegan friendly so this foundation is a long lasting liquid foundation with medium coverage for a natural healthy looking base combination of spherical powders help to minimize the appearance of imperfections formulated with vitamin e and hyaluronic acid to give your skin a fresh finish hyaluronic acid is really good for giving your skin some moisture and helping to keep everything hydrated so i'm gonna say this is gonna be more of a dewy foundation so we're gonna see how it wears so what i'm gonna do first i'm gonna go in with my primer first now i'm gonna prime this side of my face so the left side this is from elmis this is the superfood glow priming moisturizer oh my god not need that much but never mind and this is just a really nice glowy priming moisturizer adds a nice glow to the skin and also helps moisturize as well so i'm just gonna prime half of my face so that we can compare sides so you guys can see how glowy this primer makes your skin look like how beautiful does my skin look here and then this side's just normal just with moisturizer so my skin type is dehydrated my skin is super dehydrated in the morning it's very dry in the evening it starts to go a little bit more oily i'm prone to breakouts as well as you guys can see i have a couple on my cheeks i get a lot on my chin around that time of the month and i also have one on my forehead my scars tend to last quite a while because my skin is super pale so it takes a while for my scars to go down so like some of these are literally just scars like that is flat that is just a scar that'll take a couple of weeks to go my skin does have imperfections so i feel like it's the perfect sort of skin type to 
try foundations out on this says that it's meant to help minimize the appearance of imperfections as well so we can test this out on these spots because they are still quite red so i'm just gonna shake it first it feels very liquidy when you shake it but you never know so it's just like a little applicator like that so the consistency of this foundation is a lot thicker than what i thought it was gonna be i thought it's gonna be quite runny but it's not so to apply it i'm gonna use my buffing brush from real techniques just because that's the one that i use for my foundation normally just gonna take a little bit on the brush God, a little bit goes a long way. It doesn't have a scent to it. So that's always good because I know a lot of people don't like scented foundations. So I'm just buffing this in as I usually would with foundation. So on the prime side, it's applying very nicely. I feel like it's covered those two red spots quite well. You can still kind of see them. I feel like that's got a really nice finish to it. It's not to full coverage but it gives you a nice coverage i feel like that was like the perfect shade as well and i did have quite a lot of redness on my cheeks and my chin area and it's covered it up quite nicely i'm just gonna apply a little bit to my forehead so obviously this isn't a full coverage foundation but i do feel as though it is just helping cover can you see where that spot was like it's it's not completely concealed it like you can still kind of see a little bit of it poking through but i feel like that's covered it really really nicely do you know what feels really nice on the skin as well it doesn't feel like i'm wearing foundation and that is really nice because sometimes you know you'll put a foundation on and it just feels like you're wearing so much foundation but this feels really really nice it definitely feels like a second skin like it does not feel like i've got any makeup on whatsoever so now i've applied the foundation with a brush i'm just going to quickly go over it like i always would do with a sponge just make sure that everything is blended blended really really nicely with the brush I really don't feel like I need to go over like I usually do with foundations. It's covered the redness around my nose really nicely as well. And I feel like it's applied pretty much the same on both sides as well. It doesn't look too glowy. It just looks like very natural looking, like a satin finish. So it's not super glowy, but it gives you like a little bit of a healthy kind of natural skin look. I'm just going to look really close up in my mirror. Oh my God, that looks beautiful. This looks gorgeous i'm gonna zoom you guys in so you can see as well i have had acne my skin is not perfect i do have pot marks i do have acne scars my skin isn't perfect by any means but i just feel like this makes my skin look really beautiful so as i said my skin does have imperfections but you guys can just see how beautiful that makes my skin look i really like this so far first impressions of that just from applying it it feels beautiful my skin looks so healthy it feels nice it doesn't feel too sticky either looks really nice the color was perfect applied beautifully i feel like my skin looks really really nice i feel like it's helped cover up the imperfections pretty well considering it's only a medium coverage foundation you could build this up if you wanted to so i can still see my freckles and whatnot i just feel like this looks beautiful it feels so nice and comfortable as well on the skin hopefully if this wears really nicely and goes well with the rest of my makeup i might have found a new favorite foundation like this is really good and for the price as well five pounds so i'm just gonna apply what i usually would i'm just gonna go for a very natural makeup look today because i am just going around to my sister's house and gonna go and chill for a little bit so we're gonna apply very natural makeup so this is how my skin is looking with just base products on i've not put any setting spray or anything like that on just because i want to see how it wears by itself so i feel like everything blended really nicely on top of that foundation i feel like my skin looks really fresh looks very natural and i just feel like i'm actually not wearing any makeup at all which is really lovely so i feel like this could be really good for work for a full day in uni full day in school i really like the look of it hoping throughout the day my natural oils should shine through a little bit so i do get quite an oily nose so it usually shines through there then also my chin and my forehead so just around my t-zone we'll just see how we get on as i said my skin is a lot more dry like on the dry side in the morning so it does look a little bit dry around my nose but that's just where i usually have dryness anyway it kind of works really nicely with other products obviously that aren't from the same brand as well because they're only things that i have from 17 at the moment for the new collection but these two this is really good so far for the price i really hope this holds up all day and that it doesn't fade or anything because i feel like this could be an actual winner like five pound for this would be incredible but yeah i don't really know what else to say it feels lovely looks really nice applied beautifully i feel very confident in it 
to just kind of give me a really nice natural finish and I still have my real skin poking through and I kind of like that whole vibe like I feel like it's a very clean girl sort of like foundation I feel pretty in it if that makes sense like this foundation makes me feel pretty it makes my skin look gorgeous like my skin looks so smooth and buttery which is very rare as I said I've had very problematic skin in the past so my skin can look not the best but it looks really lovely I'm really happy with this so I'm just gonna finish off with a little bit of mascara so this is the finished makeup look for today I suppose as I said just wanted something quite natural quite neutral because I wasn't sure how the foundation was gonna look I didn't want to go too heavy on the eyes or anything like that as I said I'm not feeling too great today so just wanted something quite chill and relaxed so hopefully we're gonna see how well this performs I'm really hoping this performs nicely I'm very excited to see how we get on so what I'm gonna do is throughout the day I will come back and I will update you guys on how we're getting on I'm not sure how long I'm gonna leave it in between last time I think I came back every couple of hours as I said I'm actually nipping out for a little bit so it will be quite good wear test because I'm gonna actually be going out and doing stuff as well I will be back in a couple of hours and I will let you know how the foundation is holding up this is how it's looking so far I'm really happy with it I think it looks beautiful it feels really nice I feel like I'm just repeating myself so I'm really sorry if I am I'm just really happy with how it looks so it's currently 10 past 10 in the morning so I'll be back in a couple of hours hello everyone so it's now quarter to three so we'll just say three o'clock because it makes it a little bit easier so this has been on since 10 so that's like five hours so this is the foundation after five hours i feel like it still looks really nice i have been outside like out and about and it's a very very warm day today you can still see do you know like my blusher and my bronze are quite well it's really hard to see in the viewfinder because the lighting is like a bit all over the place my natural oils are starting to come through on my nose which uh, you guys will probably be able to see but that is very normal for five hours wear that's probably how my makeup would look anyway like no matter what wore off a little bit on my nose here just where i've been like you know like going like that with my nose but that again is to be expected i'm gonna look close up now and see how we look close up so i'm just gonna get a mirror it's not sat in any creases too badly so usually i'll get some like sitting here in like my smile lines or i might get some sitting on my forehead but it hasn't really settled at all like in them areas so it still looks like quite fresh wearing away a little bit on my chin but again it's to be expected i've been out and about i've ate this side of my face with the glowy primer does look a little bit more dewy than this side but obviously this side has a dewy primer on this one doesn't I feel like it's holding up really really well i do feel like at this point now i feel like i've got makeup on because i've been outside and it's been so warm i'm wearing a sweater wasn't a good idea to go out in a sweater today because it's so hot still i'm really pleased with how it looks i feel like it's wearing really nicely just looks like my skin throughout the day if i didn't have any makeup on and no matter what foundation that i've used and that i love this is how my skin would look anyway i'm still really happy with it i still feel like this looks really nice five hours in this is how we look i'm very happy with this i'm gonna leave it there i'm gonna come back in another couple of hours i need to cook a full roast today so that's gonna be fun bake a cake and go and pick up matt from work as well so i've got quite a few things to do i will come back in another couple of hours and update you guys then hello everyone so it is now 20 past 8 there we go 18 minutes past 8 at night it's been a while since i last updated you guys because i went to go and pick up matt i've then since baked a cake and made a full roast dinner as well <laughs> so i'm putting this foundation to the test my bronzer blush and highlighter have lasted very nicely on top of this foundation i do find that sometimes they can not last very well throughout the day it's wearing away on my lips like around my lips my chin a little bit which is to be expected because i have been eating also my nose i did wipe my nose before my nose feels very oily again this is very normal when i like touch my nose it's like actually moving the foundation around and it's coming off so there is oils on my face i do think this side still looks shinier than this side you guys might be able to see i'm just looking at the viewfinder so the side with the primer on is definitely a lot more like glowy dewy looking than this side but this side still has like a natural sort of glow it's starting to wear off around my nose it's not really sitting in any creases still which i think is really good for a foundation because a lot of foundations will sit in my smile lines or like in any frown lines that i get whereas this one isn't close up it is starting to catch a little bit Do you know when your skin is dry and then it gets a little bit oily starting to go like that but again this foundation has literally been on for 10 hours 10 hours and i feel like it stood quite well 
obviously with touch-ups like the day i feel like it'd work quite nicely i'll zoom in in a minute and show you guys like the texture that i've got like around here i think a lot of people forget though the texture is completely normal and no one's skin is completely flawless and perfect everyone does have texture so i feel like sometimes when people are watching these first impression reviews and we see close-ups they think oh well it doesn't look good because there's texture the thing is everyone's got texture and makeup unfortunately does highlight texture on skin so yeah it's kind of like on my heavily congested areas if i touch my face not so much on my cheeks more my t-zone it feels quite sticky quite tacky and a little bit of transfer as well whereas on my cheeks there's a little bit of transfer but nothing too bad i think i'm going to come back i'm gonna leave it on until about 10 o'clock so i've got like another hour and 40 minutes because then it would have been on for 12 hours i feel like that would be a good wear test okay so it is now 20 past 10 at night i'll show you guys now 20 past 10 so has much changed in the past hour and a half not really no blush and bronzer is still on which i'm very surprised about usually that's sunk in throughout the day but it seems to have lasted really nicely throughout the day wore off around my chin around my lips around my nose got a bit shiny in my t-zone seems to have held up really really well i am just going to grab a powder and i'm gonna see what it'd be like if i just popped a little bit of powder over like the oily areas it's like a little bit of a touch up i'm gonna take the same powder that i did before I'm just going to pop that over so you guys can see that that has just took that shine away on my nose. Can you guys see that? On my chin as well. That's just completely mattified my chin. So, touch-ups throughout the day would go really well with this foundation. It would be fine if you needed to touch it up. Do you know what? That's actually gone really nicely. Sometimes when you touch up, it can go quite powdery and quite cakey. Whereas this just basically just mattifies the area that was oily so i feel like this foundation would work really well if you had a super long day if you need to touch up you can like it's fine overall i really like this foundation i think it is lovely there's a couple of things that just make it a win for me first of all the price i can't believe how cheap this is five pound and for it to last so well throughout the day is incredible so it is going to be perfect for those of you who are on more of a budget who maybe can't afford to go out and spend a lot of money on a foundation because not everyone has that luxury especially at the moment everything seems to be going up in price so it's nice to know that there is a foundation out there that is super cheap that's going to make your skin look so beautiful i also just like the way that it looks on my skin even after having it on for 12 hours just after to pop in some powder on it literally looks like freshly applied it seemed to work really nicely with primer without primer i really don't see a difference this moment maybe this side's a little bit more dewy like as you guys have just seen i've just gone over with a little bit of pressed powder and it seems to have took away any of the excess shine i had it worked really well with other products as you guys can see I, you can still see my bronzer my blush my highlight really well worked really well on my skin type as well it's also good that it's vegan so for anyone who is vegan is after some vegan makeup products because i know sometimes it can be quite difficult you can always give this one a go there's just so many benefits i just feel like my skin looks really lovely i can't believe how well it's just touched up like i'm actually in shock i don't think i've ever used a foundation that's touched up that well before it looks flawless on my skin it's made my skin look really nice throughout the whole day i really like it i will be using this a lot because i really like this foundation i like the way it feels but for it to last so well for 12 hours is incredible and for the price as well for a fiver that is crazy if you guys are after a new foundation you're on a little bit of a budget maybe you work very long hours or say when you go to school uni college work whatever you don't want to use your more expensive luxury brand foundations i would genuinely just go out and buy this because this works so nice it'll work really nice for all day i really like this i think it's a lovely foundation i would 10 out of 10 recommend this product it is beautiful this is up there but this is gonna go underneath my nars sheer glow and that is like a really bold statement to make because you guys know how much i love my nars sheer glow so for this to even go in a top five is ridiculous so if you guys want to try a new foundation give this a go hope you guys enjoyed this video if you would like to see the same first impressions and review on the 17cc cream which i have right here 
please let me know and I will get that filmed for you as soon as I possibly can. I'm really excited to give this one a go because it looks like there's like little bits of kind of like shine in it, like a highlighter sort of effect in it. it looks beautiful so yeah if you guys would like to see that let me know and if you did enjoy this video make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already and i'll see you all in my next video bye everyone